Welcome back, welcome back to our Omud Yom Shir. After a long break, we are back. It's Daled Elul Tafshin Pei Gimel. Elul, Elul, Elul. Yeah, let's go. Strong, yeah. And we continue now. We're in Bob Metzia, Daf Kuf, Daled Omud Beis. Uh, we're actually reviewing stuff we saw yesterday, but don't worry, the review hopefully will be good for everyone, including our viewers online. Welcome to everybody here in Avas Shalom, to everybody on YouTube channel, and for any time. We're learning Perk Ha Mekabel. Ha Mekabel Sodom Chavero, this Perk deals with what? This Perk deals with a person who's a sharecropper or a renter of the field. People who work in the field either for percentage, that's a sharecropper, or a person who's called a Chachir, that is a person who rents the field. Instead of money, he pays a set amount of fruit per year in order, in order to be able to. You know, he uses the field, he gets, you know, all the profit, except for a set amount. The first person, the sharecropper, is called Oris. That's a person who works by percentage. He takes percentage, you know, of the fruit every year. That's the way it goes. Now we're going to see various cases to do with this halacha. Ahu Gavre, the Kabil Ar Lesumsami. We are three lines from the bottom of the narrow lines. There was a person who accepted upon himself as an Oris. To do what? Lesumsumi. He's supposed to actually plant so in the field. Sumsumi sesame seeds. Now sesame seeds, as opposed to the regular run of the mill, uh, chitim uh, uh, wheat. They are a sumsumim are more expensive. They're going to sell for more. They're more valuable. But no pain, no gain. They also suck from the ground more energy, more nutrients. They make the ground go depleted more. You know, quicker. So now this person was supposed to, according to the original agreement, was supposed to plant in the field sesame seeds. Zorochiti, instead of that, he changed. And by his own accord, he all of a sudden planted there, kitim, uh, that's wheat. Avda, so now the wheat is expected to do how much? Less. In other words, the same amount would actually sell in the market for less than sumsumi. That was the prediction. That was the idea. And he basically, according to the original, not the original plan, according to what he's doing now, it should have been what? A loss. Because it's a rachi team that are worth less than the original sesame that they were, he was supposed to plant there. Av the chiti kesumsumi, lucky man. All of a sudden, in the market, in the world market, the chita became as valuable as sumsum. Instead of the sumsum being 100,000 and the chita 80,000, the chita became also 100,000. The wheat became as expensive, as valuable, as the sesame, so now he lichoira that guy. Now, lichoira Mr. Oris acted against the will of the Balabais. However, the Oris really made, caused him again, brought him an indirect gain, a profit. Why? Because mitzad the sale in the market, he got the hundred thousand, he got the same amount. Mitzad the the field, the field now is more fresh and more you know less depleted because he used it for chitim and atrasumsumi. So now, Sovar of Kahana, of Kahana thought, Lemema of Kahana wanted to say, Menaki le kachsha de ara. Let's take away, let's deduct from who? From the Balabais and give him a bit less than the regular percentages owed, the Balabais, the owner, because the Maisa, Mr. Oris, caused him indirectly, but he left him now, he left him with a field that's more refreshed, yet, yeah, which is not depleted. So maybe that difference that was caused by the Oris should now be deducted from the Balabais's annual percentage from the crops. The first wine line. Welcome back, welcome back. Kuf Dalid Amud Beis, the first wide line. Omer Lei, welcome. Omer Lei Ravashi Ravkana, Ravashi told Ravkana, Amri Inshi, people say, and that's what we follow, human psychology endorsed by Chazal, Kach Sha'ara Velo Likhoshmara. It's better for a person that his land should be Kachush, his land should be depleted, and he himself should not be depleted. Which means, what are you telling me? Says the Balabais to the Oris, which is you know doing something good but playing games a little bit. He says to the Oris, "You brought me less profit, right? In other words, yeah, you brought me. I mean, you didn't bring me less profit. Not true. You want now to take away some of my share, right? Which I deserve, claiming." that you caused me revach, which is again on the other direction of the land. The land stays now fresher for next year. People don't care about that. 
I prefer that my field is as depleted as it would be by sum sumim, which by the way was my original plan. I prefer my land is a bit depleted because of sum sumim rather than you now not giving me my regular share and my family will be hungry. Kachush means emaciated. I prefer my ground being emaciated and my family being hungry. In other words, my family and I are relying on the percentage you give us every year, Mr. Oris. I need that percentage. I need cash now to pay the mashkanta, to pay the water bill, to pay the, the gas bill. Yeah, I need that now. I prefer that over what? Over you leaving my land more refreshed. I, it's a gain. Thank you. <laughs> you caused me a gain, not by my request. You caused me some kind of gain. You made a profit. That's nice. Thank you very much. I'll send you flowers for Shabbos maybe, but don't take away on the expense of this, take away from my basic salary from the field, my basic percentage. That is not right. And that's all. Now, another case, even more. Ahu, a similar case, but you know, more intense. Ahu Gavra, second wide line. Ahu Gavra, the Kabil Arle Sumsami, similar case. A person accepted the land from Balabais, and he's an Oris, he's a sharecropper. In order to plant, the agreement was he's going to sow there the seeds of sesame. Darachiti, again, he disobeyed, he changed the plan by his own accord, and he now sowed there chitim, uh, that is wheat. Okay, have the chiti tfem in sumsami. Wow, the chita now, the wheat actually produced more than the sumsami. The, 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 the world market, yeah, the, the, the stock exchange market, the market price of chitim became. Higher than Sumsumim. War, Ukraine, Russia, no chita in the world. The chita prices go up all over the world. That's what's going on over here in Yonda de Yoimo. There's what? The chita became more expensive than the Sumsum. So now, what would we say? Sava Ravina Meimar, Ravina wanted to say, Wait, now this always deserves to get. The always is acted not like Balabas originally meant to, but the way what the always did was what? Actually, at the end of the day, it was profitable beyond expectations. If we followed the Balabais' original plan of Sumsumin, we'd be making 100000 Now the price of the wheat surpassed, yeah, actually became even more, yeah, won the competition, got higher than Sumsumin. Instead of 100000 they now made 110000 120000 Maybe that 10000 that difference, should now go clean all to the Oris. It's his initiative and his idea. Had we followed what you said, Mr. Balabais would have now 100,000. So I'll give you, let's say it's two thirds and a third. Okay, I'll give you your two thirds or a third over 100,000. But the 10,000, that's my Goinishkeit. It's my idea. It's not what you originally meant to, yeah, meant to have here. Omar Lei, Ravachem Edifti Ravina. Ravachem Edifti replies to Ravina and says, no, no, no. It's just a small smoke screen. Why? Atu, at the end of the day, who Ashbach, Aralo Ashbacho. At the end of the day, was only he mashbiach and not the land was mashbiach. Mashbiach, we meaning to bring profit, yeah, to do good, to big, to bring profit. Who is the one that brought profit to the, to the to the pair, to that chavrusa, to those partners, the balabais and the oris? Both. At the end of the day, not only the oris with his agriculture mind and hard work and hard labor, he's not and his idea. Of planning to sow schitim and his luck. <laughs> in his in Hebrew we say Hotel Mazal Misecho. Some people are luckier, have more luck than wisdom. Yeah. So he was lucky that the chitim got higher than the than the than the than Sumsumim. Thank you very much. But my land, says Balabais, didn't my land also bring its own part? Of course it did. Every shoot was every partnership between the Balabais and Oris is what? The Balabais provides the land. You can't have you know chitim without land. Unless they're hydroponics, yeah, you have to have land and you have some, to have someone working in the field. You know that's a partnership. So even though you can't now tell me, had we followed your advice, we would have been making hundred thousand. Don't play the could have, should have, would have game. Well, what's the idea? At the end of the day, my land produced the the the, the good. I have good land. Your hands and your initiative. That's how every artist works. So just because had we followed my plan, it would have been different. Doesn't make any difference. At the end of the day, bottom line. My land and your hard work together at Suzanne, they brought the good results. Zev Zagoyrim. In Nela, we say the plan remains as it is, and they will also share in the in the in the difference between the original expected price to the higher price, the unexpected raise in the market. They would share in that too. Whatever the agreement is, a third and two thirds should apply to everything. 
Because at the end of the day, it's everything it's the same. Nothing really changed. It's his work. It's his land. Yeah, the, 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 that's how it works. Ad kan the inyonim of the oris for this page. Now, from now until the next Mishnah, we're going to actually have a very, very, very old Gemara. are important, but this uh, piece of Gemara is important, especially because we all did Ezum Neshech in the past, right? Ezum Neshech, the fifth parak, all about ribis. That's scary, hard parak. And in the parak called Ezum Neshech, we mentioned many, many times the concept of Iska. And actually, the the source of the concept called Iska, which Rashi also mentioned over there, is here. The source of how ISCA works, ISCA means a business deal. Soon you're going to see what kind of business deal. The business deal <coughs> we're talking about is, is, is what we're going to see now. Amri Nardoi. Nardoi come and say the following. Uh, yeah, it's okay, time for questions, and then we'll continue into Nardoi. Okay, so let's continue into ISCA. Amri Nardoi. Nardoi said, the yeshiva people of Nardoi said the following. Hi, Iska. What is Iska? Iska again, we saw yesterday, we'll see it again. Iska means as follows. You have a person who wants to do business. He lives in a town where, let's say, uh, fish, yeah? Fish are sold for very cheap. He tells his friend, you know, I have the fish. I bought fish. I'm a rich guy. I bought a lot of fish, frozen fish. Keep them in the freezer. I have the freezer. I have the fish. You go to another town where things are much more expensive. You live in Bechemesh. Go to Tel Aviv. Everything is double the price. You sell them over there in Tel Aviv. Now the fish are worth 100 something, 100,000, 100, 100 lomas, just a nice round number. Very nice. I provide all the fish. You provide all the legwork. You go around, you advertise, v'chule, v'chule. I don't know who's paying for the advertisement. That's another nakuda. The Maisa, now the way it should work is 50 50. What does it mean 50 50? The responsibility over what can happen if the fish all of a sudden, I don't know, the fridge goes bad, something goes bad, and either there's oiness. Robbers came, thieves come with blazing guns, and they steal the fish, yeah? Oines gomu. Or the prices plummet, and instead of breaking, instead of making profit, or even breaking even, there's low lane or the chance of them making a loss, which may nobody's fault, the market went down. So then who's going to absorb the loss? It's not fair that one person should, should, should absorb all the loss, yeah? How should they do it? FF, the balabais, the investor, we call him the malve, he's like a lender, and the loive is a legwork person. They should go half-half on the responsibility over on sim or not breaking even. How does it work halachically? I'm in Aldoi. Again, I'm reading. Hi, Iska. Every normal Iska, the way it should work by Chazal, palga milve u palga pikodoin. In other words, half of the fish, 50,000, let's say, the 50% of the fish is considered as the milve, meaning what? It's like a loan in the hands of the worker because why that means you're responsible yeah if you borrow someone's drill fish computer sock shoes and something happens going it's you have he chose responsibility upalga picodoin the other half is like a picodoin is like a shimer he's just a guard over it and therefore it's what it's considered to be what the chaira it is no responsibility not the chaira it's really not under the responsibility of the Worker, if 50% happens, kaput, the balabais is going to lose. It's just a deposit by me. Now, me'ikaradin, and I want to point to what you said yesterday very nicely, which Toysfe says, how do we avoid... Uh, now, let's just read one more line, and then we'll mention Toysfe, excuse me. Obodo, bonon milsa, rabonon, made it work that way. The nichalele loive, v'nichalele malve. Oh, in other words, we want things to work nicha. We want things to work well, to be pleasing and good and fair for both the loive and the malve. The loive is the person who is now kilu borrowing the fish, right? At least half of it is called a borrower, right? Because he's borrowing it now, hoping that that 100,000 will become million. He'll be the best fishmonger in the world. Soon the millions are coming in, yeah? And the other person is like a malve. So they did it half, half. Now there's an issue of ribis. Why is it called ribis? Since half of the fish is really what? Belonging to who? They all belong really to the fish guy, to the owner. And they're being dealt with, like the cards, deal. they're being dealt with, how? By the leg worker. The leg worker eventually will make money, more money. So that's like a mal veloive. It's a lender and a borrower. Lender, borrower, why is... Now, you have to know one thing, and this is something I did not tell you yesterday. I saw this morning in the Rishonim. 
Although Me'ikar Adin, if they were two goyim, let's say there's no ribis in the world, let's say there's no ribis, how much should the profit be? Half, half. Yeah, that 100,000 fish, phew, soon it's 10 million, 5 million for me, 5 million for you, right? And that sometimes works, as we're going to mention soon, yeah? Now, there's a problem here. Why do you work for the other guy? You, Mr. Loive, Mr. Legwork, the one who runs around Tel Aviv selling fish, why is he working so hard on both parts? Listen carefully. The Rishonim said the both parts are mishubit to each other. Soon you're going to see that to split that partnership is not simple. They're both committed to each other. We'll explain that later. So why are you really working for the other guy's half? Why? Because you say, listen, he's such a nice guy. He lent me fish. Ah, or at least it looks that way. He lent me the fish without him. How to do business? Every budding business will tell you they're dying for good. What? Investor. Oh, the investor saved my life. I'm such a talented fish seller. I was born in the fish pond. Yeah. What LMI? I needed the fish. Oh, what a what a savior. Oh, thank you for giving me the fish. So why are you working so hard? Because he lent you his part, and you work also for half, which will at the end of the day get to his pocket. Smells not so nice. Smells like the fishmonger. Sells smells what? Ribis. Even though it's not ribis doraisa, huh? it's not ribis ktsutsa. There was no decision on ribis. Vechule, vechule. But at the end of the day. It's a little bit too much on the Ribi side. So what did Chachomim do? There are two solutions. Two solutions. One of them you mentioned, and I'm impressed with your memory. One solution is, and by the way, also answers Tzvi's question from yesterday. Tzvi, listen to me now. You're listening to me all the time. And that is as follows. One way to avoid Ribis is, they go half half, yeah? And they will get half half. When those fish will become a $10 million business, they'll do five and five. So how do you avoid Ribis? The guy, who's the guy? The leg worker always has to be scared of working too hard for nothing, just for ribis to appease the malve, not allowed to appease your malve. He gets a daily salary or a monthly salary. Besides the actual gain, he, he, we, we make symbolic, uh, not a symbolic, he gets a small amount per hour, per day, per month, for something. So then we say he's really working extra hard for what? For the salary. So he's both a partner and a paid worker. Why is he working so hard for the other guy? Because he's a paid worker. A paid worker pays nice, uh, works nicely. That's one solution. Beautiful. Very, very nice. However, however, the other solution is that they're not going to split half-half. They will split two-thirds and a third. Meaning, Balabais, in order to avoid ribis, if he's a frumid, Yerushamayim, he should follow halacha. The halacha says that enachinami, when they share, when they split the profits at the end of the horizon, the rainbow over there with the gold pot at the end, What's happening over there? Instead of going half half, Mr. Leg Worker will get more. Will get from the profit two thirds, and Mr. Owner will only get a third. My shank and by the loss, they go half half. They will discuss later. Now, but first of all, we have to know at the beginning of the process, before there's any profit done, he gets, he drives with a truck. 50% of the fish are borrowed by him, 50% are deposited by him, vis a vis rice, and he's driving the truck. Car accident, it's not his fault. Terrorists come and they shoot the fish in the head. I don't know. Something happens. There's Oinsi in one second. Who has to pay? Half him and half the Balamais. One second. Hashta comes the Gemara quoting Nahardoi and say, wait a second. Is he called a borrower regarding half the fish? Ah, wait. If so, what happens if he wants to break out of the deal and say, I want that 50% of the fish for supper? For me and all my friends, and I'll give it back to you. I want. I don't want to deal with them anymore. I don't want to make profits. I want to sit in coilel. Your half I will work for, but my half I'm just going to do something else with. I'm a borrower. A borrower can do anything with the borrowed item or the borrowed money. Hashtag Amrina, now that we say palga milve, now that we have defined half of the schoire as a borrow, as, as a loan, wait, Iboy, if he wants to, lamishli be shichra, if he wants to spend it all on alcohol, he's a nice young guy. He wants to go to the bar and spend all 50% fish to get cash and get, you know, shecha, get some beer and whiskey and gin with that. Shapi Odami, let him do that. Good for him because it's a loan. A loan, I can do anything with a loan and I don't have to be loyal to the original agreement because it's a loan. A loan is a loan. Rove Omer, no. Rove says, no, 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 no. Le'achi karule iska. The reason why it's called business deal, business deal is not a loan. 
The Omar Lay, Mr. Investor, tells Mr. Legworker, now, I gave you the 50% of my fish, of my part, in order to be mitaset, to deal with it, make more money. Not to drink wine with it. You are bound by our agreement, even if they didn't agree, it's understood, even if they didn't make a clear agreement. Sometimes people would say, by the way, that the business deal should go up until a certain date. I'm giving you 100,000 worth of fish, of shoes, of socks, of cash, and you deal with it up until next Pesach, and then we'll split, yeah? Even if they didn't do that, the mere fact they said the word iska, iska means that I'm interested in you dealing with my part, of course, and with your part, and with your part. If you take your part, spend it one night in the bar, all 50, right, of your part, and then you owe it to me as the separate choiv, you don't have the incentive anymore, says Rashi, because now you're only worker for, for me. That's not partnership. A partner works hard because he says everything belongs to everyone. I'm sorry if it's not like a communist, but this is partnership, yeah? And every, we didn't yet split. It's all one big balagan. I'm working hard to sell the fish, 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 fantasizing on the new house I'm going to buy with the 50% profit. In fact, sometimes two-thirds of the profit. And we may not work with everything together. But if you're going to split the two parts, spend everything of yours right away. You only stay with my part. Don't say, okay, your part I'm dealing with. No, because you'll be less, yeah, you'll have less of an incentive. That's Rashi. Other is showing him, I saw in the sheet today, they say, Poshut, it's a shibud. Once we have an iska, even without that psychological idea of incentivized or not, the mere fact we have shutfus means all parts are mishuba to each other. We're going to see that tomorrow, uh, hopefully today. We're going to see it later. The fact we made the partnership, we are in it together. Yeah, just like, not a great example, just like everybody knows in halacha, neither a man nor a woman can just, you know, leave marriage like that. A woman, for sure, not, not even a man, right? You have to write a get. You have to do something. Yeah, I'm saying you can't just walk out on me. Yeah, you can't just do that. No. A partnership means the two parts are mishubad, are obligated to each other. Therefore, your part should stay there. You want to break? Okay, let's discuss it. But you can't just break by using up the money right away and staying only with my part of the money. That is unacceptable. Unless we discuss it and you tell me, and then, oh, you sh I don't want to say too much information now. That's what we know for now. Later on, there will be other factors. That's what we're saying now. Uh, okay, let's, um, one second. Before we continue, and I'm going to hear more questions, what's Pshat really in Ardoi? Why did Ardoi say that the person is allowed to take his 50% and actually drink it up in the bar and then eventually give back money? I'll tell you why. Because they say, excuse me, you can't have, you can't have it your way. You can't have the cake and eat it. You, Mr. Malve. In other yeah. words, if you call it halvo and I'm responsible for the loss of it, I also want to have the profit, the gain of Alva being able to use it. That's what they say. It is mine for Alva. When you borrow money, the money is yours for everything. You have to give back new money later. Discuss it yesterday. That's logic of Nardo. That's logic. Rava says no. Rava says it's really Iska, so he's bound and he's obligated to stay and do business with 100% of the money. Why is it called Alva? Only for obligations, only for only for... Duties are not for rights. That's what Rovis says. <clears throat> That's it. So now we, we're passing like Rovis. Like Rov. Okay, very good. Omar Vidi Baravin. Now more on the same. The email says Avidi Baravin, what happens if the loive, the, the worker, the one who runs around selling the fish, at some point, let's say he didn't yet manage to sell anything, and he died. He died. He died. Yeah. And what happens then? Now the Balabais investor comes and sees all the fish in the huge freezer in the back of the house, of the Shiva house. So now he tells the children, Kinderlach, Yesoyimimlach, you know all this fish belongs to who? To me, right? Because why? Because it is Halva. He borrowed the fish from me, half the fish. Half the fish is because and for sure is mine. That's not a question. Even the half that's Halva is really mine. Why is that? Why is it mine, the half of the Halva? Because, because, because he died, and now I'm going to get it back. Now everyone's going to say, Mafitom, you all know the halacha that a person who died, what? Is that his children, Me'ikaradin, except for Tokona Segeoinim or Kibud Av, Me'ikaradin, Yesoimim don't have to pay the father's debts. Why? Because paying a debt is a mitzvah shebegufoi. 
like putting on the tefillin, the phylacteries, or donning your prayer shawl, <laughs> wearing your talis, all these things are what? They are mitzvah shebegufoy, a dead person. I was yesterday in Besa Kvoris. I was hiding my tzitzis. Why? Dead people don't do mitzvahs. A dead guy doesn't give back debt to the children. It's not our debt. When would the person, yes, claim debt from the heirs, from the Yorshim? Well, there's a piece of land. Why? The piece of land owes money. The piece of land is like collateral. And that collateral, which is something grounded, excuse the pun, something you can rely on, real estate, is called real estate, that piece of land that it owes money to the lender, and that piece of land, now in the hands of the Yorshim, goes to the lender. Comes the lender and tells them, listen, that fish in the freezer, that fish really then belongs to me. Now, nah, says Ravi Dibaravi, no. The Mace Nasimit Tautin in the bono. That's not true. If the Yisoyimim have no karka and no cash, they have metaltalin. They have all kinds of items in the house. They have chairs, they have sofas, they have a computer, they have sfarim, they have all kinds of things. All these things, do we say under regular circumstances, metaltalin are meshubad and go, if, if they belong to a dead person and not to the Yoshim, do they go back to the Malve? No. Metaltalin is something you don't rely on. Metaltalin can be very, very easily sold and exchanged hands. And therefore, metaltalin is something that if I lend money to someone with a shtal, the fact that in his house, there is, unless it's a poitiki maybe, if he has a computer and a chair and a sofa, I don't rely on that because these things are sold very quickly. I only rely on a piece of land. So now the Yorshim can tell the Malve, eh, 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 that fish don't touch. Take your half. Our half is like what? It's like you lent our father money, relying on the fish. Hey, hey, the fish can be eaten in a second. The fish can be sold. The metaltalin. The metaltalin. Yeah. Therefore, right? How can you tell me now you're going to take it? It's metaltalin. It's no different to the Chinese vines that we have in the carpet. They're not yours to touch because you never relied on them. So says the Ravidi Bar Avin. So don't touch our half. It's a it's a land. It, it, it's a, it's a, it's a loan, and then loan goes to our pocket. We're gonna have the fish now because it's it's like cash borrowed to us, lent to us. We're gonna use it because we don't have a chiv to give you back, and you never relied on it. Says Rovin, oh, Rove comes with the same old concept again and again. Rove Omar, no, Lachi Karule Iska. It's called a business deal for a reason. The e mace in case of the loyve, which is the leg worker, if he dies. It is not it is not considered as metal in his children, but rather what? It's considered like a piece of land. Wow. Aye, but it's kark. Aye, but it's metalin. It's not regular metalin. Why not? What did we say in the previous part of the sugya? When I give you fish, it's not regular loan. You can actually take the fish now, sell them in a second, and buy yourself be, bo, uh, you know, uh, booze and beer and uh, whatever you want. No. It's something you are meshubad. You are obligated until we make X amount of money or until a certain date or until I come to you and talk to you again. You are meshubad to work for me. You are meshubad to work for me and try and make money on the entire amount in yours and mine because we're in it together as one lump thing. And therefore, even if you died, it's like a piece of land. Just like a piece of land is meshubad to me. So to those metaltalin, it's a chiddush. Although they can move around, they cannot move around. It's a kind of metaltalin you're not allowed to sell for nothing. Every sale you make, I want the receipts. I want to know how much money is made. I'm part of everything. We're partners in everything together. And therefore, since I partnership in it, partnership in it, and you are meshubed and obligated to work for all 100%, including your part, I'm meshubed too. Mela what? 50%. What do you want? Yeah. Right, and Khinami, very good. The fact that he has to work is like a line connected the metaltalin to the original owner. Adkan. Omarove, okay, we're going to be a little bit uh, less uh, into questions. Yeah, that's the last sessions of questions now. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about numbers. Oh, so as we said before, I'm sorry it was hard for you to stomach, but Aloha says that because in order to avoid ribis, there's going to be some unfair, and nothing is unfair in halacha, yeah, quote-unquote, what's going to be? When it comes to losing, let's say there was 100, there was a loss. Instead of 100, he came home with how much? 90. He sold the fish for a loss. Nobody wants to fish anymore. Everyone became vegetarian completely. 
no fish, they sold for very little, okay, maybe for the fish pond, whatever. He came, you know, you know, tail between the legs with 90 instead of 100. So that 10, they have to split, yeah? In other words, five, yeah, he will give him back and five not. In other words, some are going to split the 10 of a loss, half will be absorbed by the, by the seller and half by the investor. What about a profit? Let's say instead of 100, he came back with, she, I don't know, uh, 10 million, 10 million from the fish, then how much, how, what, how is it going to work? Then what 3.33333 is going to go to who? To the lender, the investor. And what? And two thirds would go to the leg worker. Why? Because in order to avoid ribis, because now we know that, by the way, the way Rashi defines it is very interesting. We still look at it as two halves, but the balha, now they will explain it to you better. The leg worker, the loive, is Kilu taking from the profit of Balabais, from half of Balabais, what's the difference between half and a third? A sixth. So he takes a sixth from Balabais in order to avoid ribis. In other words, you know, I'm working like a chamor on all parts, including his half, because it's true that he deserves half, Rabbi, he's right. But I, the leg worker, I'm working also for him because I'll get a cut from his half. Get the point? Mimela, it boils down at the end of the day to two thirds and a third. That's how Rashi says it. Now, says Rove, Omar Rove, Chada Iska betrei Shtori. Let's say there was, we're not going to read Rashi inside again, we're going to say Balpe. Chada Iska betrei Shtori. Let's say there was one big business deal, yeah? One business deal, you know, 100 tons of fish, Rashi says clothes, items, whatever. And Trei Shtori, from some odd reason, they split it into two story, which means they made two separate agreements. They split the hundred, the lot, the the, the batch of hundred uh, kilos, hundred tons, whatever of fish. They split fifty and fifty as two agreements, two separate agreements. Say that the malve, that's going to be a loss for the malve. No, no, no. Who wants to say why? So we said Rashi gives us the number crunching. The malve is going to lose from that. Why? If you divide it into two, it's a loss of the malve. Let's see why. If, let's say, you had, let's say, sold 50 out of the 100, Mr. Legworker sold 150, he sold, and he lost five. That's 45, he lost five. And on the other half, yeah, but it's all the same square. On the other half, he gained 15. He made again a profit of 15. If we make it into one star, had they been all one star together, one, one big happy family, and you calculate, and you actually even it out all together, then what? Then at the end of the day, out of the 15 gain, there's five loss. It's all gain. 15 gain minus five loss is how much? 10. At the end of the day, let's just calculate everything together. It's one shtar means one calculation, one formula. At the end of the day, 15 minus five, if I'm not mistaken, is 10. And then Mr. Balabai Samaza is very happy. How much is he getting? 3.333 out of the 10. Very nice. The other guy gets two-thirds. Now, however, now that we made it to two stories, what happens then? On the five, eh, that's a loss. Whenever you focus on the loss, Mr. Balabais is what is losing half. He's gaining only third. Balabais, the investor, when, when you focus on the loss, he lost how much? Two and a half. He lost two and a half. Two and a half, that remember, you know, like in math, remember one item on the side, Two and a half minus. He starts the cheshben, the Excel sheet, minus two and a half. Now let's go to the 15, right? How much does he get from the 15? Only five, a third. Hey, five minus two and a half. How much do you get? Two and a half. <laughs> so in this case, instead of getting 3.333, he got two and a half. Lost. Oh, the numbers just prove themselves. Yeah. So you see that if he got two stars, it's a loss for the Malve and a gain for the Loive. And Mimela, that, that's a key case number one. Continues love, continues love. However, the opposite, ooh, 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 one second. Let's say they had two businesses, let's say today and tomorrow, says Rashi. There were two in Yonim on Sunday, shoes, on Monday, dresses, whatever, uh, pants, whatever. Two different businesses, or even the same thing, but two separate days. Yeah, also fluctuation in the market. Sunday this, Monday that. Bechad shtoro, but the dafka put it in one lump sum, one shtar on both on both business deals on both things. Then it's the opposite, you know. Say that the loyve, then the loyve is missing. It's exactly the same thing, just the other way around. Yeah. In other words, whenever it's considered as 
one lump thing, then the loiva is losing. Whenever the malva the malva uh, gains, the loiva loses. Why does Rava say that? You said very nicely yesterday, like Rashi, we said it's a toivo. Rava is telling us, you know, play fair, play fair. When you have two business deals, you should do two stars. When you have one business deal, do one star. But when you start mixing and you have two, four, the uh, under one umbrella, or you have one and you separate into two for no justifiable reasons, one person will be losing shaloi kedin. It's not really usur, but be aware that the other side is losing. Maybe you can say you agreed, but it's still not right. So don't get into that trouble, but rather do it straight. One with one star, two for two stars. Now Rob says, this is very difficult to understand. I'll do my best. I mean, it's easy to understand the case, but the logic here is very needs a lot of, you know, uh, polishing. Let's try it. Hi, Ma oh, we spoke before about what? Can a person break out of the business deal? We said no, right? In other words, you can't just spend it on wine and say, oh, you know, it was a lot. You can't do that without telling the other guy, right? I'll give you a kdoma here. What happens if they decided, you know, we're going to have the business together. I lent you deposit, whatever you want. I invested in modern language. $100,000, you know, 100,000 fish, whatever. And up until next Pesach, you try and deal with the fish and, you know, make the fish tree, plant a fish tree, see how much fish is going to grow, millions, and then we'll split it next day of Pesach when we need to feed our families. Nagid, can the person who is a leg worker with permission, can he just say, not with permission, can he announce and say, I'm out of the deal? I did my best. I did work. I didn't just spend anything on wine right at the beginning. I tried and I said, listen, it's not for me. I got a new job as a technical writer in Herzliya. I'm doing something else now. I want out of it. Although I'm supposed to, I only did half, you know, half the investment I dealt with. We still have half the year. The answer is, Begadol, according to the Ran, I saw the Ran today in Shita Mukubet. Yes. Just like we said, we saw Dafa in Zayin and Mudalef, a poil can regret in the middle of the day and quit the job. You know that. A poil is very, very dedicated to the Balabai Salachikli. You're not allowed to stop for a second unless it's justifiable, you know, even when you eat your novim. But Lamai said to completely stop in the middle of the workday. If you're a poil, you're a worker, you paid per day, per hour, not a kablan, you can stop in the middle of the work. Why? We are not slaves of the boss. Not slaves to the boss. Yeah. Who are we? We are slaves of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Avod I am, below avodim la avodim. Yeah, that's a famous line in Dafa and Zayn. Same thing over here. At the end of the day, the legwork guy is working for the investor. The investor is sitting in his office, sipping his coffee and reading the news, or I'd like to say learning Torah. The guy is working like uh, whatever in the markets of Tel Aviv, sweating away. You can define him in many ways, but Lamais is working for the investor at the end of the day, and sometimes he gets paid for it. So it's a Chiddush. But the Ran says the same halacha applies. And if he announces and says, listen, I worked up to X, that's it, I'm stopping now, he's allowed to do that. As long as he announces, and as long as he doesn't, yeah, so it's Meshubad. The Shibad is, we have to work together until the person can actually decide to break. It's a Chiddush, but that's what the Ran says. With that in mind, read the, let's read the following. A person accepted what? Iska from his friend. Who was a person, Mr. Leg Worker, now accepted X amount of money, of fish, of clothes, whatever. Yalla, start, go out to work, go to the field, advertise yourself, you know, have, have your elbows, make money for both of us. The passive, oops, at the beginning, things didn't look nice. They didn't look great. Why? Because he started losing, instead of 100, his first few sales were, uh, and really, right now, he has 90 instead of 100. What did he do? He did not tell Balabais, very important. He felt bad. He felt shameful. He felt, you know, Lo Naim, I'm such a clumsy guy. What will I tell him? What will I tell my shvigar? You know, so what did he do? Torah, he worked extra hard, the Malie, and he actually made it even. Let's say there was 100, then there was a whole of 10, there was 90. He worked extra hard to quickly somehow break even to fill it, you know, to bring it back to the original 100. And then Veloy Ode, he did not tell him, he did not inform the Balabais. And now he comes to Balabais with a hundred and says, I'm sorry, I didn't make any profit and I didn't make any loss. At the end of the day, it's all back to what? To square one. It's a hundred. So what should we do? It's not a pay, it's not a, no pain no gain. 
let's go half half. Now he wants, yeah, because that again, but again, you do a third. But this is regular, or back to square one. Let's just split as good friends and not such good friends and half half. Now he, Mr. Worker, wants to do something. I shouldn't say play shtick. The worker wants to do as follows. Loi Maxi Omale, he cannot tell him, the worker cannot tell the investor, will not tell the investor the following interesting idea. I want you to take half half from the half said with me. In other words, no half half, no. I want you to give me extra five for the loss that I made. It's, isn't it true that historically speaking, I'm now revealing new information to you that two months ago, it was not a nice hundred. It was really 90. So there was a loss. At that happy moment of the loss, had I given it to you back then, then I wouldn't have to fill the entire 10, right? I would have to fill in five from me and five from you, right? You'd be losing half. I'd only have to give you five. The other five you absorb. Now also, I'm going to get 50 and you'll get 45. In other words, I want you to pay me half. Yeah, yeah. So why? Because it was a loss. I now, we're back to square one. So what? I want to freeze the time then. It's, it's a very interesting idea, yeah? At the time of the loss and say, let's go half, half on that. And Mimela, yeah? And now the other 10 that I gave is a, is, is a new gain, a new profit. And that you only get a third. So you lose. In other words, that 10, that little hole of 10 that you lost, and then he gained again, he doesn't want to put it back straight as if nothing happened. He's now revealing what happened. He says, listen, no, no, no. Now... You you have to be mishtatev in half the loss. And the new 10 that I made is a new profit kilo, even though it just broke even. And in that, you only make a third. So I'm not sure what the numbers are, but at the end of the day, you're going to be losing, right? Because you, on the loss, you lose 50. On the gain, you only gain a third. So why can he not say that? Why can't we, kilo look in history and say, there was a loss, 50-50. There was a gain, hey, only a third. So when they come to split the 100 at the end of the day, why can't you say, I want you to lose at the end of the day because lose half and only make a third? Because the investor can tell him, mm -mm. I'm looking at it as even as if nothing happened, as if there was 100 and now there's 100, and we ignore history. We don't look at the history of each transaction. We look at the final stage. Why? Why did you work so hard without telling me? Why did you work extra, extra hard to quickly make sure, you know, the, the little boy, you know, eats the ice cream from the fridge and then he cleans, you, you, you clean the evidence, yeah? You get rid of the evidence. Why did you quickly get rid of the evidence? You work hard, hard, hard to make sure that it's full, filled up again to the zero, to the original balance without telling me originally. Why? So should, people shouldn't call you a loser. People shouldn't call you a person who loses the business. Says Rashi, meaning, who cares why you did it? It's all psychology. No. When you worked extra hard, it was al menas that I will not be part of it. Just like you didn't want me then to know about the loss, you, didn't want, you shouldn't want me to know also about the profit either. The lotion of Rashi is you were Torah and worked extra hard for your own profit. It's ki'ilu, all your gain. You are, I didn't gain anything. I didn't gain, I didn't lose. You came to me now, there was a hundred. Three months later, you come with exactly the same hundred, exactly the same thing. You worked extra hard for your own benefit to keep your good name. You hid the information from me. You, that extra hard was ki'ilu, your own venture, your own little business within our business. You want to do your own thing to quickly, quickly clean up things? That's not called making profit. I'm not profiting anything from that. You made the profit in order to do what? In order to really uh, um, uh, make things nice so people don't call you names. Emilio, that's your business. So that loss and that gain is your own little business. Why would have I thought otherwise? Oh, why would have I even thought that, that he can actually say, I'm breaking and there's a loss and then there's a new gain? Says the run, you know why I would have thought that? Because of Libne Israel Avodim, which means, let's say at the moment of loss, the person would have said, hey, we lost. I'm, I'm, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. We lost. Sorry, I'm going back now. I, I break everything. I've had it. I'm not your servant anymore. I can see I made a loss. I'm not, I'm not into uh, I was Mayaish, and that's it. 90, 
then had he told him that, then he'd be right. What would have we said? En chinami. There's a loss. Once there's a loss, it's half half balabais and the loiver. En chinami. And you didn't. If you announce and you say I'm out of the deal and I'm sorry, I'm coming, you know, leg be- uh, a tail between the legs, what can I do? There was a hundred, there's a ninety, I'm going back to Koilel. Business is not my business. Bevakasha. You could have done that. Break and nobody can force you to no, 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 keep working, keep working. No, I don't want to work anymore. Beseder, you should have told me. Had you told me, Mechus, great. Then in Achnami, I, the Balbais, would have lost and would have absorbed. And then if you say, you know what, ah, let's try again in Achnami. And then if you filled it up to 100, there would be a new deal with a gain from 90 to 100, be a new gain, a new transaction, followed by two parts. Here you acted without telling me. You acted without telling me. You can't now come to me and tell me tall tales about your history and expect me to follow you. Ah, uh-huh. there was my loss, and it was my loss, it was my gain. You come to me now, where well, the cake is filled up again. Then we may know what we may know. We say then it's no loss, no gain. Back to 50-50, and the balabais, yeah, Kili didn't lose and didn't gain because he wasn't told. I'm continuing. I really want to make it to the Mishnah. I promise I'll listen to you. We really have to make it to the Mishnah. Go Marove. Now comes Rova and says the following aloha. Hani Beitre, there were two people. Now there are three people involved. It's not confusing. There's one investor and two workers. Yeah, whatever. It works the numbers. Doesn't make a difference. There's one guy and there are two. Yeah, one of them is the guy who works in Tel Aviv, one in Yerushalayim. The investor lives in Bechemesh. Very nice. He has two people working for him as the leg workers. They have loive, health mafkid, everything the same. Hani Beitre, the Avdi Iskabadi Adodi. Yeah, there were two people. It's a real story. And Avdi Iskabadi Adodi, and they really are oisik with each other and with the Balabais. There are three people involved. Verovach, Baruch Hashem. Originally, there was 100. Yeah, let's see, each one of them makes a cut. He's cut from the 50. Psh, Kenan Hara, from 100, we already have 500. Now, one of them tells his friend, one leg worker tells the other, one loyve tells the other loyve, Talif loyve, let's split already. Let's split between us and tell the Balabites we're splitting. Now, Taisa asks the question, why can't we talk normal? Basically, we're asking a very, very, very basic question here. Can a person in the middle of the whole business say, I made enough profit, I'm Chofetz Chaim style. Chofetz Chaim, once he made X amount of money in his wife's shop, he told her, close the shop. He wasn't money hungry. Let's say they made, I don't know, 500 kupekas a day. I don't know much. Close shop and he's going to learn and she's going to say till him. Yeah. So one guy wants to say, what? Oh, by the first guy, of course, the guy who's a worker can tell his choices, can tell his employer, I'm not your slave. I'm a sham slave. Stopping cold turkey. I'm informing you. I'm telling you all the facts, all the numbers right. I'm informing you. I'm not working behind your back with all the people we saw before. And now I'm up front. I'm sorry. I did X amount. I'm interested in stopping right now. Fair. Here, you don't have that, you know, anti-communism idea. You don't have them versus the employer. It's two workers together. The question is when it's two workers and they make profits also mishubed potentially to each other, as we're going to see, can one leg worker tell the other leg worker, I'm stopping and I'm breaking from you and from him. From the boss, we can work. Who's the boss? Yeah, Hashem is the boss. But from each other is a question. So one guy wants to break. He says, listen, we started with 100. Now 500, 250 for me, 250 for you. I'm happy with that. And the other guy says, no, no, no. The other guy, Mafi Tom, my dream is not to have 250. My dream, think big. I want millions. Let's continue together. Can that partnership be broken by one side or not? Big, big question. He Omer Now the Gemara details how would that work? Yeah, the Gemara now goes into details. Yeah, the Gemara says as follows. Yeah, sorry. I Omer Lei, Havli Palga de Ravcha. Let's say one guy says, how does he want to split? There are different options here. The the breakaway guy, the I want to break guy, say I want to break away from you. Says, listen, give me half of my profit. Now remember, there is the pro- there is the basic amount. Let's say it's a hundred. Imagine yourself a chart with four parts. There's 100, 50 for Ruben, 50 for Shimon, and there's a profit. You no, know, each one, 250 for him, 250 for him. Says Mr., uh, what's his name? Mr. Shimon wants to break away. Shimon wants to go back to Koilal. I made my 250. Give me my 250, and I'll go home. And the rest, 
you'll do it yourself, no problem. You keep the original hundred or whatever's left of it to make more money out of it. That same hundred yields more and more money, the fish, plus your 250. I wish all the best for you. Your 250 soon will become 10 billion. I'll be sitting and happy with my 250. He's not allowed to do that. Why can't he do that? Omar Lay, this is the biggest story in the Sugya, the one who doesn't want to break away, the, the ambitious worker guy who wants to stay, says to the I want to go away guy, Excuse me, mister. Maybe now it's all nice and flourish, flourishing and blooming. My 250 are, mine bank, are, 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 are there. Now that 100 that we have, maybe that 100 is all of a sudden become 10. Maybe that 100 is going to become, it's not so much, it's not so good. The numbers I'm saying, no, no. Let's say, no, different numbers. The original is 100,000 and each one made, let's say, 50. Yeah. If you take away your 50, I'm staying with 100, basic, and 50 of my profit, right? Now, let's say the 100, all of a sudden, Lolaine, who gets lost, gets lost, or I make very bad businesses. I want to go back to the Balabais without shame on my face and fail at least to break even. Now, my 50 will not be able to break even. Maybe I lose 70, and my 50 won't be able to cover the basic canon, the basic, pro the basic amount. I need your extra money. I need your top of the cream in order to maybe fill in the basics. We always have to have more and more funds in the business in case the basic goes bad. Let's say the Balabais has, you know, made a lot of profit on the Macaulay, but the Macaulay needs maintenance. Maybe he won't be able to pay uh, the broken pipe next month. So he still needs to take from the money that he made in order to pay for the basics. That's a logic over here. And we must shoot it to each other. As we saw, Everyone is mishubu to each other all the time. Now, the Omerle. Okay, now another option. Now, I say, okay, let's break away differently. Havli palga radchu palga karna. Okay, you know what? Give me my half, my profit, and my keren. In other words, give me my half entirely, my 50 of the basic, plus my other 50 of the gain. I'll go home. You'll have your 50 basic and 50 gain. Omerle, no. Iskaladadi mishubad. We're mishubed to each other. You can't do that either. Even though you can claim, listen, deal with your own problem. Have your rebach mishubed to your keren. No, your rebach, mister, I want to go, is mishubed to my keren. All four parts are mishubed to each other. Reuben and Shuman are mishubed to each other. And the profit money is mishubed to the basic money to always have some reserves until we decide to stop the business in case something goes bad with the basics. All the fish are going to stink. All the fish are, the freezer is going to go bad. I will show our face to Balabais. We have to make sure at least there's a basic to break even. The Omerle, Niflo Gravcha, Niflo Karna, that's the third option. The Matilach Pseida Darina Badoch. Oh, let's just, you know what? Let's split everything. I don't have to for you anymore. I just want to sit and learn. Elul! I don't have this fish business anymore. I want to break even, break from you, my whole 50. If you're going to lose, I'll pay you. You concern maybe your 50 of, of, of basic or principle are going to become 30 or 20, and you'll need my money to quickly cover up for you. I'll pay you. I want to break away. I don't want this partnership. I don't like the color of your nose. I don't like this whole business. I just want to break away, and I'll compensate you. No, why not? Why can't you go now and break the partnership? Because Omer Le, and that's similar to what you said before, Loi, Mazel de Betray Odif. The mazel of two people is better than the mazel of one person. Big yesoid. In other words, if it's my, maybe it's your great luck, your my sim toivim, you or me together, or our achdus, our two people together, more mazel than one person. If it's only me working for my 50 50, although percentage wise it's the same, and I know I'll be compensated, and I believe in it, I trust you, you can sign the dotted line, but I say no, two people working together, since you entered the shibud, and I'm not a boss, and you're not a boss. We're equals. I can force you to stay, claiming that two people have better, a better mazel than one person. And therefore, you cannot break away. Thank you very much. I'm so, so happy to be back to regular limud. And may we have a very inspiring and Torah Elul. Going back to Hashem. Kufem remember tomorrow, Kufem in the Mishnah. Yeah, questions and comments are welcome. Thank you very much to everybody here in Abbas Shalom. Thank you to our YouTube uh, viewers. Thank you for waiting for us to come back. Thank you to people in Torah anytime. Kolo Lashon, have an amazing Hatzlocho Rabba Bechol Yonim.
He said six. No, he said six. He said six. One second. Uh, there's a horror here. No, it's your Rosen. The difference between a third and a half is six. That's what Alan said. You said it's six. It's six. That's what I said. That's what Alan said. Thank you very much. Thank you.